Fourth chords or chordal harmony is a very hip modern way to play chords whether you're comping behind somebody or comping for yourself. Welcome to Jazz Rocks with Adam. We're going to look at how you can incorporate chordal chords into your playing. Let's take a look at the song Stella by Starlight. I'll improvise the first eight measures of the song using chords that have thirds and sevenths more of a traditional sound. Then I'll do a version only using chords stacked in fourths. <laughs> Now here's one with the fourth chords. And just real quick before we get back to the lesson, if you are a member of my Patreon clan, you get access to all my lessons for as low as $5. Link is below. So let's talk about getting some new colors into your playing that these chords provide. You kind of need to think modal. I like to play three notes stacked in fourths on my fifth, fourth, and third strings mostly. This way it leaves me room to play a line on the remaining strings. Here on my seventh string I have three extra strings, but if I'm playing a six string guitar, now I have at least two remaining strings. Let's look at what choices you can use for a few chords in the song that happen a little later. A minor 2 5, E minor 7 flat 5, A7 to D minor 7. For E minor 7 flat 5, we have these chords that you can play. There's a few that will sound better. Although the others will work, these ones will convey the sound of E minor 7 flat 5 a tiny bit better. For A7, the best ones to play are these. Fortunately, these are all right next to each other. You have a little more wiggle room as to what to play over the one chord, our D minor. Essentially, it's the same structures as the E minor 7 flat 5. So when you're playing over a 2-5-1, and this can apply to major 2-5-1 as well, think of it as slipping in and out. You stay on one scalar mode for the 2 and the 1 chord, and then you slip outside of that for the 5 chord. Slipping outside for the 5 chord isn't necessary, but it sounds cooler. Something like this. How do you get used to playing a line over these chord voicings? Here is a great exercise, and of course it goes without saying, to get the most out of this, practice it in all keys. Another thing you can do is practice playing over 2-5-1 progressions. Again, every key. Come up with your own chordal licks. Here's an example in C major. In the PDF, I'll definitely include more examples than I have time for here. Here's one for a 2-5-1 in A minor. Only a handful of guitarists come to mind that utilize these chords. 
John Abercrombie, Mick Goodrick, to a certain degree John McLaughlin, Lenny Bro was really good at it, and so was Joe Diorio. Oh yeah, fellow Canadian Lauren Lahofsky is pretty good at it too. If you can think of any guitarist that utilizes fourth chords with any great extent, let me know in the comments. If there is someone doing this that I don't know about, then I want to check them out. And maybe the viewers want to check them out too. Don't forget to get the PDF lesson that goes into even more detail. Hitting that like button along with leaving a comment is one of the best things that you can do to support my channel. It really makes YouTube's algorithm take notice. And if you want to get more content like this, then consider subscribing. Before you go, I have one last thing to say. Check out these videos that I've curated just for you. Thank you.